Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, in past episodes, I've shared with you our model Mustang. These competencies, skills that we work to build within our kids from preschool all the way up to high school. We want to build kids that are collaborative, that are resilient, that are empowered. And one of our teachers at Sarar Elementary School, driving to school, heard a great idea on the radio and brought it to her team members. It was an idea about how do we develop the writing skills in our kids, as well as these other skills we've talked about by partnering with a local animal shelter. Let's take a look and learn more about this powerful collaboration at Sarar. Our project that we are working on in second grade is animal shelters. And our kids are writing in the first person little bios as if they are that animal in hopes of getting animals adopted. And then after they write um, their information, we're going to be posting it up front in the lobby. Family members can take a look at those, read about them, and we're also doing a donation drive. So they can drop off any donations at that time as well. In second grade right now, we've been doing opinion writing. And then also we've been working on point of view, so first person. So all of their writings are going to be written in the first person. And then we've also added some technology where we're teaching them about icons and drop down and just exploring the different shelter websites. Also with the donation drive, we've kind of thrown in a little bit of that Mustang mindset and talking about global and how we can help our community. For eight-year-olds, that can be hard to understand how they can impact communities and, and get outside of the school. So we thought, what a great way for them to realize that they can have an impact in their community by helping these animals get adopted. And also, just involving family members. If families would like to actually bring the donations that we gather into the shelter in hopes that maybe some of our families will adopt a dog or a cat as well. So far, my favorite part has been the Google Meets. I feel like it's given the kids a great opportunity to see the animals, see a day in the life of what it's like living in a shelter. It's making it seem so real to them that it's really helping engage them in their writings. And they love seeing if they can find their dog or their cat that they're <laughs> writing about. I think they've come such a long way this year and just knowing how to write in first person and using those pronouns and so on, I think they've really done a nice job with that. One day I was driving to work and on the radio they talked about a teacher where she actually volunteered at a shelter so she had her students write to those animals and I thought what a great idea it was, how engaging it would be so I brought it to the team and then we kind of all worked together and so just how we could really make it fun and exciting. Wolf, Wolf, are you looking for a sweet dog? Well pick me. Thinking of all those different aspects of being global and collaborative, I think it incorporates a lot of those. That is why you come to the shelter and adopt me. So not only was this a great project for the kids, for them to think about writing an opinion piece from an animal's perspective about why they should be adopted, but now we can find homes for these wonderful animals. So if you're looking for Rob or Madison to become a part of your family, you can come to Sarar, take a look at uh, the dogs or pets that are available, or you can go to this website below to check it out. As always, thanks for watching and go make it a great Mustang week. <laughs>